Hi, my name is Tita Irvin, and in this video I would like to show you how to point or direct a domain to a hosting provider. Now most people register or buy a domain name at a registry or a company that is different from their hosting providing service. And most people do this for protection, but some people do it because their hosting provider does not offer registry services. So, if the domain is not registered with a hosting provider, you will need to point or direct but not transfer your domain to a hosting company in order for them to host your website. Many people think it is a really difficult thing to do and today I will show you that it is a really simple process and that you can really do it yourself in a few minutes. So before you will start the process, you will need two things. You will need the login information to your domain registrar and you will need the names of the name servers from your hosting provider. You would have received both when you either registered your domain or bought your hosting. So I just wanted to tell you that name servers are servers which hold the information that tells the internet where to find your domain, I mean sorry, your website. So uh, you always get at least two name servers and this is done to ensure that your website is accessible in case one of the servers fails. And here I'm showing you two examples of name servers. One is from HostGator and the other one is from Bluehost. Now HostGator provides you with a four digit name server names and the name server one is the lower digit number and name server two is the higher digit number. Bluehost doesn't give you any large numbers, it only labels their name servers as one or name server two. So now let's see how to actually do this. So first, uh, what you have to do, you have to log in into your control panel. And in this demonstration, I will be using NetFirms. This is my preferred uh, registrar because it is inexpensive at only $7.95 per domain name. And also I find that the service is really outstanding. And you can get the link to NetFirms in the description below the video if you're interested in uh, purchasing your domain name from them. So let's click on the control panel. So once you're in your, uh, uh, when you click on the control panel, you're brought into a login page, of course. And so you have to uh, input your username, your password, and then you click on login. So once you log in, you're brought to a control panel and uh, what you need to do is you need to click on the domain files. And those files sometimes are called domain central or domain manager or my domains. Whatever case uh, it is, uh, click on the uh, files where you can access your domain names. So I'll click on Domain Central and I will click on uh, this particular domain and when you do it you will uh, get uh, sort of a window that shows you various uh, informations about your uh, domain name. All you have to be concerned with is the name servers. So click on name servers and as you can see this particular domain has, uh, is still using the name servers of the registrar company and ns1 netfirms.com, ns2 netfirms.com. So what do we want to do is we want to click on the, this button here because we want to use different name servers. And what I'll do is I would like to transfer, uh, pardon me, point, not transfer, point this uh, domain to Bluehost. 
So if you remember, Bluehost was only labeled as NS1, so I'll just enter Bluehost there. And for NS2, I'll do the same thing. Okay, so here we are, bluehost.com. Now, of course, you remember that HostGator had these digits here, so all you would have to do is you would have to change that number to the two, uh, four digits, like that. So, But we're not going to do it because we're dealing with Bluehost right now. So we just have NS1 here. So now, after you entered the different name servers' names, just click on Save. And as you can see, it, you get a window which shows that it was successful. It has been done actually instantly. And it will inform you that uh, it may take up to 24 hours for the changes to take effect. It has been my experience that uh, often the changes only took like two hours. And once the changes take uh, effect, you can set up your website on your hosting provider. So as you can see, it is a really simple process. I want to say that, you know, uh, most companies have such a simple control panel as NetFirms has. Uh, very, very few companies will have a, a more complicated uh, control panel. And if you are not able to do it yourself, just contact the company and uh, let them help you. But you sh really, um, overall, you shouldn't have a problem because the uh, control panels have been designed to be very user friendly. So I hope you enjoyed this presentation. I hope that you now know how to point your domain to your hosting provider. And with this, I'll end this presentation and I'll see you later.